Ladies and gentlemen of you, hello, it's me and Holiness, and welcome to a brand new video. I'm gonna do a little bit of experiment. I'm gonna read you guys a story. A story about a girl and her father who were returning to home from visiting the mother in the hospital. Okay guys. I'm gonna get a drink. Then we're gonna start. And I hope you guys gonna enjoy it. Okay. And by the way, the link to the story is in the description below. If you want to read it for yourself or to your friends, so I'm gonna be be right back. Hey guys, it's me again. Did you miss me? Oh, that's good. Because I gonna read the story for you. Not him. Me. <laughs> I hope you gonna enjoy it. So let's begin. One night, the father and his daughter were driving down a desert country road. They were returning home after spending the entire day visiting the girl's mother in the hospital, listening to the sound of the rain drumming on the car roof. The girl began to doze up. Suddenly, there was a loud bang. The father struggled with the steering wheel but the car skidded off the first road and slammed into a stone wall. After checking that the daughter was uninjured, the man got out of the car to survey the damage. Both of the front tires had large punctures. The right fender was crumpled against the wall. The rest of the car had survived unscathed. He must have driven over something on the road, he explained to his daughter. Whatever it was, it blew out both of our tires. Can you fix it? asked his daughter, somewhat shaken by the accident. No. Replied her father, shaking his head. I've only got one spare in the boat. I have to walk back into town and find somebody to tow the car, he said. It isn't that far from here. You wait in the car while I'm gone. Okay, she said reluctantly, but please don't take long. The man could see his daughter's eyes that she was frightened. Sit tight, he replied, her father as he slammed the car door. I'll be back soon as possible. His daughter watched him in the rear view mirror as he trudged off down the road the pouring rain and disappeared into the night. More than an hour passed and her father still had not returned. The girl began to wonder what was taking him so long. She was very worried because he should have been back by now. Just then, 
She glanced in the rear view mirror and saw a figure in the distance walking towards the car. At first, she thought it was her father, but when she turned around to take a closer look, she realized that it was a strange man. He was dressed in an overall and had a big bushy beard. And he was carrying something large in his left hand, swinging it back and forth. Something about him made her very nervous. As she approached, she stared out the back of the window and squinted her eyes. The dim light, she could just make out what he was cutting in his right hand. It was a big, sharp butcher's knife. Thinking quickly, the knife had got like more doors in the front of the car, then jumped back in to see about the real doors too. When she looked up again, she saw that the strange man had stopped her. In his tracks and he seemed to be staring directly at her. Suddenly, the man raised his arm and the girl let out a, a blood curdling scream. Ah! His left hand was clutching her father's severed head. She just kept screaming and screaming. She couldn't stop herself. Her heart was pounding and struggled to breathe. The grotesque expression on her father's face. Horrifying to behold, his mouth was hanging open and his eyes were rolled back in his head. When the man reached the car, he showed his face right up against the window and glowered at her with his crazed bloodshot eyes. His hair was wild and muddled with dirt. His face was covered in deep scars. For a moment, it stood there. In the driving rain, grinning at her like a madman. <laughs> then he reached into his pocket, took something out, and slowly lifted his left hand. He was holding her father's car. Okay, guys, this was the story. How did you like it? I hope you did. Feel free to share it with your friends and everybody you know. Yeah, it was fun to read. It was a cool story. I really hope you did like it. I might need to put a warning in front in the beginning of the video because I might think that this is not really PG. Well, nothing happened actually in the text. But as you know, I might get overboard with the editing a bit. <laughs> so Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you share it. I hope you press the subscribe button. I hope you see you again real soon. As it was a real fun experiment. And please do tell me what do you think about this. And how was my reading? I want to hear about it too. So, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Give it up for my city.